teach down. We're gonna use a little bit of luring and a little bit of leash guidance if we need to. Teaching down is always better from a seated position. So to get your dog to sit, good. We generally bring a treat to their nose, lure them, lure that up so their butt goes down. And then to teach down, we take the treat and you wanna kind of go into them so they have to fold over to lie down. And I just have it in my hands and I will release it the second the puppy has lied down. So you can see I'm going into her a bit. She's trying to figure it out. And again, you can see this cot also keeps her kind of on target. So let's put her back into a sit. Good. And I will give some leash guidance. There we go, good. So what I did there, since she was struggling the other way, is I just took the leash and guided her into that down position to help her out. The second that she got into a down, I released tension and I said, good, marking the behavior, she got the reward. Let's try it again. Okay, ready? Come. Place. Sit. Good. We have our lure, so that means there's food in my hand. I'm going to take it. At the same time, guide her down with the leash. Good. So you can see how this ledge right here allows me to bring the food past the point of her having to actually get into position. So it helps guide them down into that uh, behavior of putting their body on the ground. Really good time for your verbal markers where you don't have that extra hand for the clicker. So make sure you have a good charged verbal marker as well, such as good or yes. So let's challenge her a little bit this time. Let's take the food out of our hands. Fingers to the nose, leash guidance down, good. Mark the behavior. And then here comes the reward. She knows when she heard the word good that she did the right thing. We took a snapshot of the behavior. Good. Free. So what I'm gonna do is reward her off the cot and this is going to get me to get another repetition. So where you're putting your reward can also set you up to get your puppy to do the behavior again. And this will start helping you develop a release command where the puppy hears the word free or whatever you choose and they can leave the space that they're at. And we are doing that by putting the reward off of the stationary location. I'm gonna start naming the behavior, right? We've gotten a good couple repetitions. It's happening really fast. I'm gonna start naming it as she's doing it. Down, good. So that's exactly what we want to have happen, that our puppy with the place command puts all of this stuff together, that they get up on this structure, they sit, they lie down, and this is where we start teaching that conditioned relaxation where we teach our puppies when they go to place that that's what they need to do is just sit and relax. But place is a combination of those three behaviors. Get up on this cot, sit on it, lie down. And then so as our puppy gets really good at this and um, is responding to us asking for them to lie down, we can remove the cot and start asking them to lie down just on the ground. So because we made the space look different by removing the cot, we are going to backtrack a little bit with our guidance, uh, make it a little bit easier so Nyla can be more successful. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Down. Good. So you can
can see she's putting it together even though she's not on the raised surface, but you can see how it translates better for our puppies starting from a raised surface like that and then moving on to the floor. Makes it definitely a behavior that is more easily attainable just because of the mere fact that you have space to work with um, when you're putting your puppy in a down. A lot of people struggle. <laughs> Good girl. A lot of people struggle with down when they're teaching it on the floor because oftentimes there's nowhere else for them to um, go. So it gets confusing for the puppy, right? They're like, but I'm, I'm here. I'm already like close to the ground. They don't understand that they need to put their whole body there. And having this extra height here helps get your puppy in position. And then when you translate it to the floor, they already have a little bit of a sense of what you're asking them to do.